Hello and welcome to chapter 69 of the last thoughts of a busy mind. This one graciously and, uh, well, imma immaturely called nice. Yep, it's a sex joke. We've done all of this for a sex joke. But yeah, chapter 69. Do you expect me to name it anything other than nice? So, beside that, I don't think this is going to be a very sexually filled episode, because I don't think I can teach you anything on that. I, the internet is a much better teacher than I am. And, uh, yeah, so, chapter 69. Nice. So far, and by the way, we've done 69 chapters, so that is great. Sometimes I wonder how I keep doing it. And then I remember, oh diligence and a huge huge desire to talk without looking at the results a couple of things first off our drink our drink today is a carbonated fruit drink but not just any fruit juice it's barberry and pomegranate I thought it was just pomegranate when I bought it because that was the bigger fruit on the cover. But nope, it has barberry in it, which is not my favorite juice. Um, but it is in there. And let's just hope after I drink it, I can stay awake. Because, god damn, let me take a sip. God damn it, it's tart. Holy, oh my god. That hits much harder than I thought it would. The second thing is, and um, this is one that uh, I did this week, which is one of which was one of the highlights of the weeks. Week, if you got, I, I can't, I can't get over the fact how taut that was. Like, holy shit. The second thing is, I was a guest on another podcast uh, this week called Yorick Radio Productions. There will be a link to the podcast in the description. I recommend you check it out. It's a great podcast. I had a blast while recording. Um, the interviewer was amazing. She gave me a lot of um, great pointers to how to do it. And uh, I think I talked good, better than this, definitely better than this, because that's when I had my ideas ready to go. So I think that was an incredibly fun experience. When the episode comes out, she didn't give me a date, I will um, tell you. Uh, but in the meantime, go to the description and go check out her podcast. It's a great podcast. I highly, highly recommend it. The other things are, what happened to the week? Nothing. It's been one of the most interesting and hellish weeks of my life. First of all, in a couple of days on Sunday, it's going to be the New Year, the Iranian New Year uh, of 1401. So, yay, there is that. I, I already did my New Year episode, um, which was 2022. But, you know, in the three months since then, a lot of things have happened, as you who have listened to them can attest to. From the breakup to the Sir Gawain video finally being out to just a lot of plannings. <laughs> but this week pushed me to the limit, like literally uh, my limits of, um, what do you call it, introvert introverticity <laughs> because the beginning of the week on uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday I had to leave the house I had to go out uh, for different reasons uh, Saturday a, a friend of mine came to our house and took me out uh, Sunday was a meeting and Monday was the end of the year banquet for my uh, for a company all right doesn't matter I had to be there anyway so 
it was I'm not a very sociable person again introvert I'm an introvert so this week really pushed that limit and at the same time again fuck it resigned because I am still I I slept like 12 hour days in in the week and I didn't do much I did do a few things um first of all the Jaffa Khan script it's not it hasn't been finished the thing is the historical bit which was the important bit is finished and I had a few amazing feedbacks on it mostly it that it was good which means I know what I'm doing sort of but that means um I don't think I'm going to have everyone read the full script probably a few people to just uh, skim it through because in 10 days i need to have the video ready if i want to have it up on march 28th which is the goal so in 10 days i need to have it ready so i need to write the script film it edit it and upload it in 10 days which is not something I'm not used to. I used to do it far more in the days of born in quarantine. And back then, I would like, uh, at the very beginning of it, I had like two days to record, edit, and upload. But those were relatively simpler projects. This one has a bit of a few twists to it. Has a bit of a twist to it. Um, because it's scripted it's going to be bigger i want to do a few crazy stuff so i don't know whether i can do it in 10 days but the thing is when i finish it i don't the important part was the history of it and that one i got enough feedback on the other parts of it are mostly movie related so i really don't need the feedback on it because um other than if it's coherent. So again, I will probably have ask a few friends to skim through it. But I don't think I will wait for like two, three days for a large group of people to read it. The other thing is I played a game. And now I know that's not saying much, but it's been so long since I've played for like five hours or six hours in a day which is understandable university and all of that really doesn't give you enough time to do this thing but i finally found the time i uh, didn't have i could have sat down and written the script but i didn't want to i i couldn't bring myself to so i played i played crusader kings 3 for the first time it was okay it was more than okay. I had a ton of fun. Uh, I love Crusader Kings 2. But uh, 3 is uh, is more in my lane, I think. It's more simplified, which is very appreciated. Actually, uh, a tab on my laptop currently open to CK3 console commands because I want to try something. It will ruin uh, the save, but I have a save for it that is like before cheat <laughs> and after it because I want to try something. And uh, I, I'm too impatient to wait for my character. Uh, this is the third king, by the way. The first one was Jacob the Flayer. He made the Kingdom of Ireland. The second one mainly maintained it and um, attacked, I think... A county in uh, Wales and then the third one which is the current one I'm playing in um, he expanded that made the Kingdom of Wales attacked Scotland and owns two uh, duckies in uh, Scotland so hopefully if I can get uh, I, and I have claim on two more if I can get all of them I can make the Kingdom of Scotland too and hopefully make the empire of Britannia. Their problem is England. England is too powerful. Which is good because they are my allies. So I basically just say I'm going to attack Scotland. And then tell them to do you want to join me? They will join me. 
The problem, oh, the downside of that is my character is heavily disgraced, so I can't attack anyone. That is what I want to try. I want to try and see if I get that two uh, duckies. Can I get the empire? Which I doubt because it says you need 80 uh, counties. I think I have like um, 18. So I need like 72 more. Which is a lot. A lot, lot. Anyways, uh, for those of you who don't play Crusader King 3, those were all gibberish, wasn't it? <laughs> but I played it and I had a great idea. And uh, I actually told this to Amiraz and uh, um, he also agreed it was a great idea but said something amazing that I will read to you. But the idea was that uh, an audio series, audio drama, imagine like Game of Thrones, but in audio form. And it's based on a campaign of uh, CK3. Like uh, me or someone else plays a game. And each king, uh, each reign will be a season. You play it, you write down the important stuff. You can add your own dramatic flares to it. For example, my first king was Jacob and his son Joshua. Jacob was the flayer. He loved torturing people. And he killed a lot of people, which were um, in his way, in a way. And his first son was Scaly, which was not a desirable trait, so he disinherited it. So I was thinking, like in the in the drama, the his son uh, Joshua will learn of the fact that his older brother, which died in war was disinherited and wonders if his father actually killed his brother because uh, his brother was the marshal. Again, gibberish if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, I told this to Amir uh, uh, and uh, I don't know, uh, he is not going to listen to this, but if he does, thanks for listening to my ideas, dude. And he said, I think uh, you don't consider the fact that you're a single person and have limited time and capabilities. Like, how many things do you want to do? And he's right. Like, I'm stretching myself too thin. And as a result of that, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm always tired that I don't think I'm doing anything. Because there are too many things I want to do. I want to create a crafting series. I want to create TGTBTI. If I get a new laptop, there will be another show that is my own promise to myself called Labs, Long as Bullshit. Which is uh, more freeform and less edited. Like this, but in video format. And you might say, well, if that happens, what happens to this? This will go on because... This is more of a weekly show. I go to the week. It's a good end point for the week. And so, you know, things are crazy. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's a good idea. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I also had it a while ago for C5, uh, Cinema Civilization 5. But I think Crusader Kings is a better game for it. C5, I wanted to do a documentary, like one of those Ken Burns documentaries talking about uh, nations at war, not even mentioning the kings or rulers, just a documentary based on the Doom Monster skit. Maybe I will do that too. Who knows? I have a lot of ideas. None of them are good, unless you're me. <laughs> I watched a surprisingly huge amount of james turner content for those of you who don't know james turner is a youtuber i know him mainly for his uh, flabliki um he, one of his other channels which he plays management games i first uh, saw his software ink series which i was really into then he stopped doing it then the movies, which he then stopped doing it, but then he started doing a new one of City Skyline. And I've been watching that uh, almost to the same extent that I watched uh, Succession when it came out. <laughs> like, when it came out, I would watch it that day. And so I love that. And then I went to his 
original channel. I've been there a few times. He does Sims 4 builds. And he did a every lot challenge challenge. And I watched the first uh, episode of that thinking it was just a one-off video, which I do like. I do like his one-off videos, like how to make a million simoleons and all of that. Again, if you don't play Sims 4, this is all. This will all be gibberish to you. But um, before I knew it, I was knee deep in a 15 episode series. I watched all of them. It felt good. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me want to play Sims 4, which is a lot because I hate Sims 4. I'm a Sims 2 fan. So. There was that. That was like my whole Wednesday, I think. I woke up around 2, 3 p.m. And then I just watched that. And a few other of his videos because that didn't. I, I slept very late. I'm recording this at 4.30 a.m. by the way. So it's not early. And I literally had to pull myself away from CK3 to record this. Which is to my um, and your disappointment. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try the cheat though. I want to see what happens. Can I make the, the Ireland Empire? I don't want to name my empire Britannia. I want to call it Irish Empire. My character is Irish, by the way. Um, he's the head of the Irish culture, and uh, I don't know if he's head of his. Uh, faith. I want to create a whole new faith too. Sadly, it has to be on the Christianity, but you know. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. We will see. And uh, next week, uh, hopefully, I will have at least 75% of the video done. The Jaffa Khan video. Yeah, we're going back to that. If not, I might postpone it. Like, nothing bad will happen if I postpone it for, like, five days. So it can happen on Sis Davida, which is the 13th of Favadin. Which will be, I think, 2 or 2nd or 3rd of April. But I want it to happen on March 28th because March 28th is the 100 year anniversary of the play. So, come on, let's do that. And then after that is the Dracula one. And I don't know what am I doing. Just <laughs> And in between them, I will play Crusader Kings. See, the problem with Crusader Kings is that for, in order for me to play it, I need to basically strip my laptop's RAM of everything. No Chrome, no Discord, nothing. It just needs to work on CK3. And even then, it takes like almost more than five minutes to load. Like five literal minutes. Which is a lot. I need to change this old, old laptop. <laughs> my son. I need to change him. And get a new son. <laughs> sort of like CK3. So yeah, that was chapter 69. Nice. And uh, can you believe how long we've come? God damn. If you're a long time listener, I think it's time for you to send me a message on Anchor. A voice message. Your message will be played at the beginning of the next episode. And you might shape a whole episode around it. And if not, if you're listening to this on YouTube, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, all of the good stuff. And if you're listening to this on any other uh, podcast platform of choice, just um, you can contact me and tell me what you think. And if you feel good, share the podcast. We've been doing it for 69 episodes and three special episodes. So... We've been going strong. Let us keep going at it stronger. And with that said, I guess I will see you next week. And happy Novus, everyone, in advance. <laughs>